November the 4th, 2004, which is the day after their presidential elections. The last one around, and uh, John Kerry was making a concession speech on the television there. And half the people in the sports bar I was watching TV and were, were in tears. The other half seemed quite happy. So, That's democracy. It's democracy, yeah. There was 51% vote for you again. It kind of works. Um, but it's been, you know, it's a, we sort of picture the place as a monolith, but it's terribly divided at the moment, you know, viscerally divided over the Iraq war. Uh, they're incredibly hurt by it and frustrated by it. Um, but in a sense, the United States has not always been a divided place, and in fact, it never really has. I mean, it, it was, a, it was, the fact that it exists, it emerged from a civil war, basically, the, the American Civil War, between Confederates in the South and the Union in the North. And uh, the first gig I ever played in the States was at a town called Fredericksburg, ironically. Um, and uh, it, Fredericksburg is uh, right smack bang on the interstate highway between Washington, D.C., which was used to be the northern capital, and Richmond, Virginia, which used to be the southern capital. So it was a point of really strategic importance in the Civil War. And also the scene of a, of a horrible and one-sided battle where um, the uh, Northern Army of the Potomac, led by General Ambrose Burnside, staged a uh, courageous cavalry charge against Robert E. Lee's Carolinans who were waiting for him behind a stone wall at the top of a hill in front of a long open stretch of plain. You know. It was one of those sort of cavalry charges, the, the, the logic of which was rendered redundant by the Gatling gun. It was like Gallipoli, it was just a slaughter. Um, so a very sort of formal, old style of battle, uh, just didn't match the new situation. But meanwhile, in the, in, the, in the West, or what used to be the West, in Missouri and Kansas, it was a far less formal conflict. It was basically northern troops being ambushed by militias, southern militias, guys who were half soldiers and half criminals, really. And one such... Uh, one such character was a guy called William Clark Quantrill, who uh, led a bunch of guys called Quantrill's Raiders, and they staged a lot of ambushes on uh, post office services and northern garrisons, and also sacked a couple of towns like Lawrence, Kansas. And uh, this is a story from the point of view of one of these boys. It's called Don't Dig My Grave Too Deep. Any of us 
Don't take my 